Hello, I wanted to review what we have done in class, which is to talk about Python functions. And I am showing you my Coasters uh, module here called Putting the Fun in Functions, and it's just a functions demonstration. So uh, it shows in here, I've got my comments. So this is what my module is, demonstrate how to use functions. I like to put some comments between the sections for readability purposes, it's optional, but anything you can do to improve readability is always good. I can't say this follows all the uh, style guidelines of Python, but I, I try. I try my best to make it as readable as possible. So uh, you have to define the functions before you can actually use them and they come first. So uh, you use the keyword def, then you put in your name and then there has to be parentheses, close parentheses. There can be parameters and I'll show you what that looks like. But this particular function called welcome to functions doesn't have any. And you have to have the colon, which indicates that we have a block of code coming up. And uh, the green here, these, um, this coloring shows that we've indented those four spaces. And this first bit, this is a doc string and it explains what the function is. And it's really just a character string. There's no mystery there, but if you place it right after your def statement, it becomes like documentation for that particular function and that's where you describe what it does. Obviously this is a very simple function and all it's gonna do is just uh, print out a statement here. Now this is within Codester, so I'm using some of their classes and um, sprites, those kinds of things. So I have my comment before my call and so I did have a little note here about how variables work within functions. So I'm creating a variable called text sprite and I'm creating it using um, the Codester's text um, class or um, instance. So uh, it creates a text object and it's gonna have welcome to functions as its text and the zero to 150 is the location on the little screen, the little stage to the right there. So it's gonna create this um, text thing and it's gonna be stored in the variable text sprite. Now text sprite is only gonna be visible within this particular function, welcome to functions. Once this thing is done executing, it's gone and you can't reference it directly again after that. Uh, so be careful with your variables. So anything you create in here is not going to be visible to anything outside of this function. It's a local variable. Um, and so all that's all that one does. Now, if you look at our next one, this one is called uh, def, the name of the function is say and wait. And I pass in two things and uh, these two things are strings. Well, I'm sorry, no, they're not. The first thing is a string. The second thing is a number. So uh, the, the commentary says, have a sprite say the input string and wait a specified amount of time, then clear out the text. So it's, it's basically saying what this thing does. Um, so these are what we call parameters to the uh, function and they're passed in. So somebody using this function will pass in a string of some kind and a number and they supplies those things. And when the function is kind of woken up, it will use say string as the variable that's holding the string they put in and wait time as the variable that's holding that number. So they're input parameters. So it's very simple again what this does. So um, this is a codester function called say and it, it's associated with their sprites. And so I say that string and then the stage has a method called wait. So it'll wait that specified number of time. Uh, and then once that time is over, I'm gonna have the sprite say nothing and it kind of clears out what was in there. And I was finding that in some of my projects, I was doing this thing over and over. So one of the advantages of functions is I don't have to repeat this code over and over. Now I can just always just call this thing and it will do um, the functionality that I want. And what's nice because it's in a function is if I wanna change how this is done, I can. Maybe I decide, well, I don't really want the sprite to say it. I'm gonna create uh, a text like I did up here in my uh, first function. So I can change it and it's very localized. I don't affect the rest of my code. Um, I could even say, oh, I'm gonna have another person take care of this function for me. So I can collaborate by using functions without you know, impacting each other. We can work on separate things, but on the, the same project. So the functions are very versatile. So again, these, um, this my sprite here, uh, actually this my sprite is in the, the main part of the code. So these functions can see that but they can't really change anything that's, that's in the main section. So um, the say string and the wait time that are passed in, you cannot change them in here and expect the calling um, 
the calling code to actually see it. So you can't really send anything back through these parameters. They're input only. So now my third function that I have here is called put two strings together with space. And this one has two strings. Um, pretty obvious what it does, I hope, by what the way I named it. And you should try to give your um, functions good names that describe what they do. This one perhaps is a little bit too specific, but I just was trying to prove a point there. So what this does is it concatenates um, the two strings. Concatenate just means it joins them together and it's going to uh, return this newly created string. So this one has a return uh, statement associated with it. And this is how you pass values back to a caller. So while you can't chain string one and string two in here and expect the caller to see that, you can return something that the, the caller can see. And in this case, I'm just putting them together. That's what the plus signs do. It joins them all together, but I'm putting a space in between the two strings. Um, I do put an optional comment here, and I did it for the other ones. For my eye, it just makes things a little clearer when I'm done with my function. I have the little end. Um, comments, again, optional, but it's just a way to make your code a little bit more readable. Okay, so this is my main code, and I do like putting a little comment here. Again, this is all optional stuff, but for me, uh, it makes it a little bit more clear what I'm doing. So I have my stage, set background color, my sprite, create that sprite, and so I have a comment that explains it, and basically what I did was, this is sort of uh, this what pseudocode is, is you can put these comments in in advance as you're thinking about what you want to do, and functions are another way are another way that you can um, kind of write pseudocode, sort of. So welcome to functions. It's just a very simple thing right now. Well, what if I wanted to do something else? All I knew was that I wanted to welcome the viewer, so I wrote a little function to do that. And then I can expand it or um, you know, make it more interesting than what it is. You can also write what are called stubs, which is basically the little code doesn't do anything yet. The function call doesn't do anything, but they're placeholders for what you want it to do. Now, when you create a function, you do have to have statements. You have to have at least one statement, just like you have to do with loops or if statements. And you can use the past statement. And um, if, you, if you're just out of um, statements to use, you're just kind of writing a little stub, a placeholder. So anyway, and I say a bunch of stuff here, and then um, I, I use my put two strings together. And uh, this, this code does really nothing. So if you watch what it does, it's just a demonstration. So uh, there's my welcome to functions. And then these are the little things that it's saying. And I have different wait times to show that you can do that. And then there's my concatenation. So what I think I'll do real quickly is just create another function just to show you how simple it is to do that. So I'm going back up to the area where the functions are, and I'm just going to define uh, uh, let's call it add to numbers. And you're going to pass in two uh, numbers to it. So this is nice. It automatically puts my um, indentation there. And I'll create a little doc string. Add two numbers, x and y, and return their sum. How about that? And so that's the comment that explains what it does. And this is pretty simple, just return x plus, oops, plus y. And uh, I'm just going to put my little comment here, again, optional. But for me, it just helps me to kind of just really see what I've got. And it's not only for me, it's for anybody else who's going to read this code. Um, code is read more than it's run sometimes. So there, it's defined. And so now I can call it here. Let's, um, whoops, let's add two numbers. So I can set it equal to a variable, or I can put it directly in a call. You don't have to set it to a variable, but, but I will. So I'm going to call something sum, and it's going to add to numbers. Uh, let's add 4 and 6. How about that? And then let's see if we can get our sprite to say what those two numbers are. So I'm going to do a say and wait. Um, and the string I'm going to pass in is the sum is, and I'm going to pass in the string of sum. Because remember, it has to be a string, and sum is a number, so I have to make it a string. And then I also have to pass in my wait time. So let's say I, I let's save the two seconds. And I don't know if I have any mistakes, but the the code will let me know if I have or not. So let's see if it works. So it's running through everything we did before. And I'm not going to really know if I have big mistakes here until I get there. So let's see if it works. 
There's my hello world, and there it is. The sum is 10. So it's very easy. Now, anytime I want to add two numbers, I can just use this add two numbers anywhere in there. Um, and so this was just meant to be a shortish kind of explanation of how you can use functions in Python, specifically when in Codesters, but also if you're creating other Python. As always, thanks for watching.